I'm at, well, I am the daddy. I'm not my daddy. Alright, what I'm doing, Steve, before you freak, well, I'm, you, did you show me over there? Oh, no, sorry, I just sent you, but... No, turn the light on. What I'm doing is, Steve, lock tight this nut on there, but up in the casting, it wasn't fitting the casting. Nothing to do with Steve. Stephen Lang made this for me. Nothing to do with him. Uh, so I had to relock tight it and then tighten it back down. And I just got through painting the nut to go down in there and try to put a little dimples on the thread so that it doesn't back off. Now, Yay! We have one person watching. Oh, well, we had one person. Now all I'm going to do, let me shine your light down here, is I'm just going to. Just take the bumps off of the marks where I painted them. Yay, we have one person watching. Alright. Hi. Yep, right there. Three already. It was only been a minute and fifty four seconds six seconds. Alright. So there we go. I re loctited it. I re reapplied the Loctite. And I put this in the lathe and John, Mr. Fix-It Lee said, hello, girl. I have a beefy, uh, I have a be beef, beefed up 109, and I love it. All right, so this is my new, this is our new quill. Awesome. No, that ain't, that's the old quill. Where's the new quill? Here's the new quill. All right, here's the new quill. Um, there's something in there that's nicking the uh, quill. Right there at the very end, we don't know quite what it is, so we're kind of just taking a sharp edge off of that, uh, off of that, uh, where he cut it with the lathe, I mean, where he cut it with the tool bit, just kind of run a tool bit down in there. Don't want to take much, because it's nice and tight, and I don't want it going back to flopping. All right, there we go. He said... Or, yeah, I'm saying, yeah, he said, I have many parts also if you need, if you folks need any. I need a cross slide. You got a cross slide? The entire cross slide on my, bring it over here. Well, it's not mine. I keep saying mine. And before somebody catches me and say, well, it's tears late. Hey. It is tears late. I, I don't know if you can see this or not. My cross slide, hold on, does that. I can hear it. I can see it. Can you, can you see it in the camera? I can see it in the camera. And so what happens is when you start threading, or when you start pushing on this right here, the, the lead screw pushes this around. This thing leans so far to the front. Zoom in right here. This thing leans so far to the front, I had to put a brass shim under it. It's got the wrong gib on the back. It's got the wrong gibs on the front. The clamps. And it... It just, well, that's, that's, that's back play, but it, uh, you get it at the right spot, yeah, right here. I can see it moving, tiny bit, tiny and, and, and I've done, I've done, cleaned these off, I've done dried these off and everything, completely dry. I've, uh, put a Sharpie marker up under here, and then put it on here, slid it back and forth, and file those areas, and then, and, and, and then it... <gasps> Okay. And then it, 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 it and it and it's the same. It's just flops. He uh Doug said hey. Doug uh I, Christopher. Yeah. Alright, back me up back up over there. Ah, sorry, go for red. So if you got something, I need it. He just said something I was supposed to need it. Mm. So I zoom out. The cross ah! the original put it on me. 
the original cross slide, the back part on the back side of the lathe next to the motor is a piece of iron that has three bumps on it. One bump up next to the bolt that tightens it up and two bumps that ride on the quill. I meant ride on the underside of the wave. So you have just this about a quarter inch wide and a one inch, three quarter inch long little bump that uh, rubs under there. What this is, is somebody put a piece of steel, flat steel under there and it grabs the whole four inches so that when you tighten it up enough to, to take the play out of the cross slide, not even the power feed can, the power feed will turn the cross slide sideways and the nut will kick out. Okay, he, let me read what he said. Front get, gives are worn out, I have those. What what number is the lathe? I have one in the truck. How much you want for the truck? <laughs> I, the, 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 the lathe has no number on it. It just fits the 109. It can't. It just fits the pictures. It fits the diagram. It fits the description. It fits everything. Uh, well, there's got to be another way to uh, for people watching to uh, to identify. He to does. answer the question you that you just asked. You do that's that. the wrong one. Where's the new one? That's the old one. Oh, that's a, that is a new one. All right. Yeah, yeah. I need well, a sharpie marker. It's, uh, all right. No, look on the end of the lathe. Not there. Done looked. There is a tag. Not there. Done looked. Here. Hold on. Y'all, I'm trying to get my clamp. Uh, well, what was the purpose of making a quick clamp? All right. I'm just going to slide it. There's not even any holes. Well, there, there's one. Yeah, the, the, there's the holes. One there and one there. The tag is gone. And you can see that it's been painted over. The tag has been gone for a while. All right. Not, not arguing with you. Trust me, I'm not arguing. I'm just, I'm just telling you, it's, it's not there. All right, now here we gotta make sure that we get this all nice and clean. So, uh, go ahead. Ask Keith; he probably knows the number. Number? It, oh, you mean what? It's a one hundred and nine. Probably doesn't mean that one. Though. What number are you looking for? The whole entire serial number? Model I number or whatever? Six people watching, it's only been on for seven, eight minutes now. Now, clean this out. Many a time, there's a, a chip has caused something to set wrong, and somebody file it, and then they go, oh, that chip falls out, and then it's loose as a goose. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me to cut when you're done, if you don't drink it all? Uh, I have instructions that somebody sent me. Mm. Where's the other one? Over there. Some people are calling it uh, Dunlap. They're calling this a Dunlap. Uh, Alright, look here. Here, tell me if you can see this, baby. Tell me if you can see this. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. uh, can you see it? Yes or no? Sorry, sorry. Okay. It, it, it identically models. Okay, here's the standard one without <sighs> back gearing. This one has back gearing, and it's a thread cutting model with back gearing. It's a model 109.0703. Um. Okay. Um, and it says March 1941. Doug Christopher said, I don't know what number Sean is looking for. Sean said, okay, so they, are one oh, they have 109 parts, and they are made... They have they made them in a ton of ways. I do have a Dunlap 109 in the truck. Doug said yes. Yeah. Okay. See so you don't need this. All right now. All right. So now what I was doing earlier, if anybody was wondering, uh, Stephen Lang, Shark River Machine, made this new left hand thread and made this new quill for Tara. And the uh, up inside of the casting. It grabbed it when I put it up in there and turned it, and then it backed it off. Um, so I had to file it down a little bit, and it requires a slight little taper. All it is is to go in there and push 
against the casting to push so that this uh um you know, I, well, you could have you could have turned that and left the shoulder on there, but he copied what I sent him. So that, I'm not complaining. So I had to go in there and ping the nut and re -lock, apply Loctite. I know some of y'all have already heard this, but I, and then I went there and pinged it so that it won't back off anymore. Now I have to go in there, and uh, so now we need to make sure this is nice and clean. Because I'll tell you, Terry, one, one speck of dust, if I turn it the right anything. way. I'm turning it the wrong way. I'm turning it to the left and it's going in. Uh, One speck of dust. Can change everything. Can hold something off and you'd be you'll be sitting there. Alright. John said, let me see that cross side in a good view. So we hand view or good I mean we did a good view. Be a little more specific, John. Like hand view or just a closer up closer up view. I can get you uh hold on. Hold on, man. Let me get the, let me get y'all all. I'll give you a little close up for a second, then I'll take you back out. It's got the half nut right here, you know. The one one half of the nut is here, another half of the nut is over here on this side. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, the stupid camera's got that most that auto center turned on. I don't know how to turn it off. Alright. Now let me get you from this side right here. Oh the stupid uh there we go. That's it. I don't know why that stupid thing turned on. I'm sorry, you told me to turn on the light. Oh. And let me take you off the camera for a minute. Take the stand out of the way. <sighs> All right, how do you make this thing go back now? There we go. My fat fingers won't control. So, Tara, how do you like your lathe, and do you use it much? Yes, I you do. like my lathe, and I do use it much. Sure. Well, we made a pen. We made it. You made a pen. Uh, here, where's the camera bag? Uh, here, I'll put this back in here and get, go get the camera bag. Oh yes, in the living room somewhere. All right, we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you raised back up here. Y'all hold on with the comments. Tara's uh, reading them, and I'm I'm trying to fit this up for, her. and she'll show you the. Uh, there we go. Oh come on, this stupid thing. What you get for paying five dollars for a camera tripod? All right. Okay, let me show you. All right, so we made this one. Um, we both made it. That's the first one. I helped one. her with the threading. But she turned this. This goes in. Well, I don't have a stupid camera right now. But this goes in the bottom of it. Where's your camera? What? Your little camera that I give uh, you. Your little silver camera. Uh, and that tall skinny camera bag, supposed to be. Right. Um, give me the other one. And give me that one. That one's a casing. Unless you want that casing. That's what I need. Oh. And then she made this. That took her the longest, because that's why I had one piece of aluminum. And uh, I cut the O-ring groove in there for her. I ground a bit, and we glued a O-ring in there. And that's hey. just to give it some spun so that when you tighten it up, it doesn't fall apart. And that's for our GoPro mounts on that. All right, um, 10 people watching. Uh, Sean said, okay, that is a 50s 
109. Let me look at the one I have. Be back. All right. So let me see if I can get this to go back in here. Doug said, awesome. That's a good job, girl. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, what we're fixing to do now is we're fixing to make a bushing if I can ever get this stupid thing to work. There we go. Hallelujah. I don't know what caught it, but it's going now. Hallelujah. All right. So now, now what we need to do Yay. is I need to put the handle back on there. Ah, uh, the same hole I drilled. What needs to go on? Jeff <coughs> Erdman said, nice job, Tara. Thank you. Where's the, uh... I open the case. Casing up on the shelf. Oh, okay. That's just the idea. Right. Little brass hammer. Here we go. Alright, so we don't need to go all the way in. What we're going to do now is we have to try to make a brass bushing to go right here. Somebody had just two washers stacked up. Well, I don't want two washers stacked up. I want a nice brass bushing. And so it needs to be 0.158. Yeah, I had two little washers stacked up on it, which weren't, but we need extra needles to push it. We'll get your, uh, mm. cheekbook. My cheekbook. The oh. That's one thing. I don't have all this stuff memorized. I am not a machinist. I play one on YouTube. Point one, five... That's both of them. I don't know what they need. Uh, that's metric. Aww, Which one do we need? Well, uh, he needs to stay his ass to sleep. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. All right, here we go. Point one five four. What are we closest to? Uh, Point one five six. Uh, so nine sixty fours. Nine uh, five thirty seconds. And that we have 10 people watching. So 154, this is 156. Hold that. So we're looking at, we're looking at, uh, just a hair over 964. Magic hands. Okay, so 160. If I take, if I pull it good. Alright, 160. Alright, so. We need, and that needs to be, uh, how big of a diameter? This diamond right here. So, oh, 160. Remember that. That's the length. 160. Hold on. 438. Uh, got a, a homeschool my kid and I can't find the thing. Here we go. All right. Point four three eight Diameter. Uh... 160 on the length and then the hole down through the middle what is the hole through the middle the hole through the middle is 311 this is point 11 311 all right there we, oops, there we go so 0.311 what's your cheat point 311 Point three one one. Point three one two five. So it's five sixteenths. So it's five sixteenths. Five sixteenths hole is, is three one two five. It'll go. It'll be. It'll fit. It'll fit perfect. I got two of these too. Where am I? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're out in the shop. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So now, Terry, you want to do this, or you want me to do it? You do it. I watch. You still. You still want to watch a little more? Yes, sir. All right. So we're gonna put this in here. Yes, sir. This is the end. That all right, that should be plenty. Hold on, bear back. All right, let me get y'all in a little closer here. I don't know what y'all were seeing. You, they're seeing the ladies. All right. 
Which one is that? Nope. That's my inside. Where's my... I keep saying my. It ain't mine. It's yours, but... Sean said, okay, but the one in the truck is not going to work, but I have four more parts in the storage. PM me. What does that mean? PM. Just uh, email me, kj4biz at gmail.com. KJ4B as in boy, I as India, B as in Victor. I mean, Z as in zebra. KJ4BIZ at gmail.com. At gmail what is it? It's a T-stick snack? Oh, no. You read it. All right. Need to clean this out. It's full of trash. Yes, sir. All right. So what size? I major. I major. Hey, put this reamer back. This reamer. This reamer is an international reamer. This reamer come from the east side of London. Oh, sorry. This reamer come from the east side of London, all the way to Middle Georgia, on the east coast. And then all the way to wherever Shark River is. Mm. I don't know where, uh, New Jersey. That's right. So it's made this gigantic triangle. And that's a number zero Morris taper or a letter zero Morris taper. Oh. Or it's a zero Morris taper. Or it's just a dang taper. Oh, good boy, good boy. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. All right. screaming I'm sorry I just told a story about that international reamer went from London so if you type in exactly where if you want to went from London to Georgia to New Jersey and back to Georgia he said and it came from a China China first lol <laughs> all right so we're we're plenty we're plenty all right now That's what happened right there. That's what happened right there. That thing flipped around and got caught by the chuck. So I guess I just did that wrong. Yeah, kind of. down a little bit more. Hold it with my hand. Am I hitting on something? Nope. Close 
little bit more. Trying to get it dead on the center. Chamfer that edge. Well, it we ain't nowhere near the size that we need to be. So why'd you do that? Well, you know what we can do? Uh huh. We can go from this size right here down to a taper. We can taper it. But I'd have to flip all this around, and I really hate doing that. So let me go back in. thought of something. We're going to come out right here. And that is 568. So we can stop right there. We need to drill a... a Ah! Man, I scared the crap out of me. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but I like when you get scared. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is 2:35 p.m. Where, where Sean is, and Magna, a uh, Magni Pol Pol uh, hey, Poldens or uh, something said, here it here it is 11:35 p.m. Where is it? There it is. Jeff said, in California, it is 2.37 my lunchtime. 5.16. And Sean said, Oregon. Woo, that's like, uh, Oregon. Where's Oregon? I forgot. What's Oregon? It's the state. No, where? Is it, isn't it that way? Like, I'm saying? I don't know where Oregon is. Or, where's Oregon in relationship to what? Us? No. Oh, wait, I, I can tell you. There's a map right up there, baby. Yeah, but it doesn't have words on it. It does have words on it. It has words all over it. You get close enough to read it. Go get your little tiny map. I know that's what you want to go get. Go get Ma it. Magnus said, no way. And John said, West Coast. So, no, sorry, Norway. I'm making a bushing uh, for her um, quill. quill quill handle. So they just had washers stacked up there. Aha! 
There we go. Sean said, I did find some front gibs in good shape. The whole cross slider screwed up. Whole and a slide. Ah! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, we've been talking, but you know what I mean. Try to do parting with it, and it just shakes the lay of the part. No matter, no matter what angle you are, how sharp Long it three. is, that doesn't matter. You will, you will beat this lay to death trying to part with it. Uh, Sean said, found three. Why is that not going through the hole? Give me the other one. I don't know. Oh, I caught that little piece of... I know what's wrong. Sean said tapered pin. No. Not tapered. It's a it's a spring pin. A little piece of that pot metal got caught a while back and bent down. Ah, where'd it go? Yeah, be careful with things. It's a regular spring pin. What happened in the handle? A little piece of the handle got smushed and was covering the hole, and the, the thing wouldn't go down on it. Where'd the bushing go? If I say, you just you lost the bushing? As I wanted it, but I still can. Where's the reamer? No cone shaped thing. I, I know you do. I didn't do anything with it. Around on that side? No. Oh, yeah, you put it in here. Or I did, it doesn't matter. I didn't want to see something. Jeff said, probably wear better. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, that's wearing fine. I can tell because the rumor is not wiggling. Ah, uh, it's not that. It's just zero. Evidently, this doesn't have a tang in it, and if you don't apply pressure, it doesn't lock in. All right. So well, there's our bushing. Yay! Now loosen that up a little bit. Now that'll turn. Magnet. 
Disney said maybe that backstop also should have should have have of a drop of oil. Any oil cans? Yes, I'm around here. Never mind. Ah, yeah. This. About an hour or 45 minutes. 41 minutes and 30 seconds. All right. Well, let's hope we got into doing something else too. Mm -hmm. Just gotta remember that all this is as far as it goes back. Yes, sir. Where's the other one at? Yeah, see, let's see where it touches. Right, right there. So, we got a Sharpie? Oh, uh, no, sir. Oh, there you go. Oh, right here. Yeah. Hey, damn. Kill me. Uh, All right. Right there, that's it. That's all how far back it goes. You can. If you go back, Shut. if you go back any further past that line, then it starts coming, taking a chunk out. Okay, Sean gave us email. I already got it. Um, he said I gotta get. If you need parts, I got them. Let me know. How much for a slide? Cause I gotta work it through the ball. You know, i.e. the Y. He hears him. <laughs> Ooh, I hate this phone. Oh my gosh. Free. 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 So you, pay, you pay shipping. You pay shipping. So you said free. Oh no no no! Stop late! Stop late! I can't. I don't have. <laughs> All I wanted to do was take that. Well, we smoked the bit up a little bit. Free! Free! You pay the shipping. Alright. Time to figure out what the shipping is. It'll be next week, though. Figure out did what he, the... Did he send us an email? He did. I already got it. We'll email him. And get the information. Alright. I know y'all see that wobbling, but it, it's not crooked. It's just... I'm going to put it in there for... When I heated this up... I got it a little hot and discolored it. So I just wanted to put it in there. That's a zero Morris taper to a zero Jacobs taper. Why can't people just get along and make everything the same dang size? Well, we're going to make mine special. I even got a tang on this one. I'm going to cut the tang off so that I can back it up further. We work about the same tier and I on this thing. We've been making parts for a uh, tricycle. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully get it fixed. Yep, that's it. That's what I said. Oh, they both got tangs. What is a tiny, that is a tiny chuck, buddy, let me tell you. That's tiny. That's like drilling using small, small drill bits. Well, right now I'm just trying to get the chuck to go in there. Ryan said, hey, Scott and Tira. Who? Ryan. Ryan Mishala. Washala? Washala, Washala. Ryan W. Yes. Ryan W. There you go. Ryan Mishala. Right. Your, your tail stock is back in. Washala. 
It can't go any further than that. And we actually need to mark it. We need to run it out until it, uh, to see how far it goes. And right there, that's it. Hold on, let me get it back in the thing. Ah, oh, goodness great. Right there. You have about a half inch. That's it. Half inch is all you can go. All of that quill right there. <laughs> uh, a wasp just killed itself. It went up to the light and then fell right down. Where? <laughs> right there. He was right there. He went, they went up into the light and just fell down. Where's he at? I don't know where he I didn't, I didn't see where he fell. I saw him fall, but I didn't see exactly where. Over there, maybe in that corner, I think. Where are they coming from? From the inside, from the windows. The window in there. Okay, um, all right. Jeff said, you all have a good evening. Got to get back to work. Stephen Thorne said, put it in the truck and put a tiny groove to mark it. <laughs> put a little boogie in it. But I'm just thinking, this thing will, this thing will go, this thing will go all the way. It'll go... It'll go all the way in there. Okay, so if it'll go all the way flush with the end, when it when when he when Stephen made this, he made the quill a little longer, and he made the ejection bolt longer. I think the ejection bolt needs to be shortened back up because that right there, it'll. It, it's it'll go out all the way to there. So if I shortened up that ejection bolt to where that thing could come up to here, it will still travel. It's, I don't know. It's not. It's going. It'll give us more travel. It'll give us more depth. It's not going to give us more length. It'll let us go in deeper, but it's not. It's still going only going to go the, the amount. Ah, I know what to do. Cut the tang off. If we cut the ta if we cut the tang off of the uh, uh, taper, then you can run the quill back further before it hits, thus giving you more stroke. That's what you need, just like these little short, look at here, here, these little short tapers right here. Woo! Yeah, that, yeah, that quill, little, the taper's a little too deep, my, my thing disappeared up in there. Yeah! You know, what I'm saying is, um, the, uh, my quill, the quill, the, uh, mm -hmm. taper's too big. Mike said... O'Connor? Mike, yes. I don't know who that is. Shorten the taper. Hey, that's what Oh, and um, we're going to make, we're gonna have to make this short because it's 50, your bag is 50%. Okay. 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 okay, maybe... Oh, whoa, you just hit the camera. Maybe we don't. Alright, but I also need, I also need to shorten the uh, quill just a tiny bit. Or I need longer dead centers. I need longer dead centers. Uh -huh. These short centers are disappearing up inside of it. Okay. And by the time you push on it, it goes, what? Stephen Thorne said, but with a shorter bolt, it won't come out as far to as far as you will lose thread. Magni said, at, at that little chuck, I think you can shorten the taper. I'm going to shorten the taper, but my little, one, my little tapers disappear. My dead centers disappear. I need longer centers. They disappear, slap up inside of it. My little pointers. Whatever. No, it now this one, look. That one right there. Alright, so that center is just too small. It's been ground back too far. Alright, so that, that's fine. Shorten the taper. See, look. I can come all the way into here with the taper. So I need to make this drill tapers. 
I need to make these drill tapers somewhat. Yeah, just cut the tang off. Cut the tang off and that'll give me a little more reach. A half inch, drilling a hole a half inch at a time sucks. But uh, thank you, Stephen Dorn. I mean, Stephen Dorn. Well, thank you, Stephen Dorn, for all the stuff you've done. Uh -huh. uh, Stephen Lane. Stephen Lane, what did he what did he help with? Uh, he uh, just helped. Quill? No. Oh, yes, the yes. shaft. The shaft. Where's the old shaft? Uh, I don't know. Here's the old shaft. Mandy said the bigger chunk may need the whole taper to hold the pressure. Eek. Well, I can cut the tang off. It doesn't it doesn't grip. It doesn't grip on the tang. I can cut it off to right there. I can cut it off to right there. It doesn't grip on that. It stops tapering way back here, and that's just straight. I just gotta figure out how do you cut a taper. I need a jig. You put it in the thingy. Ah, and... I know what I need to do. Ah, Where's the old chuck it? Uh... Here we go. I need to take this. I need to take this. Yeah, and I need right. to shorten this up. That way I can put that in there. And now I can hold. Make this a collet. Now I can uh, put this in the chop saw. And then I can cut the tang off. But I need to, I just need to figure out where that tang is going to be. And I just need to come up here somewhere. Cut it way up here. And I slide that on. And that will give me a square, a straight place to hold the taper. And then I can cut it off. Oh yeah. So that old quill yeah, is actually going to get cut off, and Aww. I can slide tapers in there and cut them when I need to. There you go. All right. Yay! That's it. Thanks to Stephen Th Lang. Well, Lang. Stephen Lang. Stephen yeah. Lang, Stephen Thorne, Stephen, everybody. Just thanks to all the Stevens. So we know. If your name is Stephen and I know you, or my daughter knows of you, thank you. And that motor you hear running... That fan is not designed to run. It's a fan motor fan, and it's not designed to run without the air of the fan blowing over it. It's got very little cooling. Meeting adjourned. It's a meeting. <laughs> hey, take your tape measure and. Hey, and oh, what you find there? I found it over here. Mm -hmm. well, I told you when you clean, you have to lift stuff up. All right, well, there we go. There's all that for right now. Ain't that over out of the way. Uh. All right, we'll get that cleaned up later. Uh. Yay! There we go. All right, so I had to fit the quill. I made the bushing. It's not as tight as I want it to be, but all it needs to do is, I just wanted to take the play out of it. But um, so there we go. Shorten the tang and I'll get more throw. Throw? Why'd you throw? What's that we mean? Alright. Well, thanks for watching. Thank, uh, what are we on? YouTube or Facebook? Face YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Alright, well, come here. You might want to turn like this. No. Put it on me. Put it back on me in the center. You're not in the center. How's that? Okay. You gotta sit right here. If you don't hurry up and come on. I'm trying to make sure I don't drop anything. You'll break the camera. Ow! Uh huh. Alright. You look real comfortable. You look real comfortable sitting like that. Set up! <laughs> come on, set up. Well, you sit. Alright. Sit there. You're so, out. thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around with us for the last hour and 40 minutes or 45 whatever long it's been i don't really remember we don't really remember okay all right thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe give us a thumbs up leave share a comment video, down below share this video for all your friends and tell your friends about scott taylor's home shop featuring Tara. Tara Tembo. all right i'm Tara. one two three four five, five six. go turn it off okay bye, bye.